All right, are we going from here? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> I realised, I don't know, I was talking to my friend the other day about running and I reckon, I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's frequency or distance that builds up your stamina, but so, somehow I feel like it's the more you run, it's not even about how far you run. Yeah, so, most of my runs now are like 10 plus, 10 K plus. But obviously when I run on the weekend, it's always going to be five. five. But when I do my own thing or like anything outside of that, I'm trying to do at least a 10. I've been finding it so difficult. To do what, five or 10? Not, it's not the distance, it's like my pace. Oh. My pace, like before I was comfortable at like 5.30. Yeah. And now it's like 5.45, even closing up to 6. Oh, yeah. All right, let me get music on. Hey guys, this is Ziaid and this is my 5K perspective running with Lan Fitness. Um, we met at Millfields, ran along the canal going towards Stratford for the first 5K. Um, maybe jumping in from the beginning. So I started back running, um, including like the pandemic time, probably about two years. And that was the Saturday runs with Shalom. Um, so in terms of my fitness levels before that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wasn't really doing any exercise at all. Um, but had like prior in my teen years been doing exercise, so I thought I'd be okay, which definitely wasn't the case. Um, done my first 5K. I think my time to start with, I think I was near like 35, 36 minutes, if I remember rightly, possibly even more. Um, but just like consistency is key with it, like just sticking at it. I felt so awful after that first run. I remember thinking that I was gonna pass out in front of everybody and be sick. Um, but yeah, just sticking at it really, really helped. Um, also running in a group it has so many advantages, being able to have a pacemaker, first of all, somebody to like follow. And also just the group encouragement was really, really good. And kind of, there's like a sense of, um, I don't know what the word is, um, accountability when you're running with people, because you kind of feel like you need to turn up each week. So it keeps you consistent running. Um, so this particular run was a little bit after the Christmas break this year. And I hadn't run obviously for, I'm gonna say about two, three weeks, which I didn't think would make much of a difference, but it did. So I'd done like a couple of runs before this by myself. And um, prior to Christmas, I was at a comfortable like five minute 30 pace per K. Um, and then the runs that I'd done after Christmas, I was nearing like six minute per K, finding it really, really difficult. It wasn't even like six minutes was a comfortable pace. That was me struggling. Um, but yeah, so done this run with Shalom and obviously mentioned earlier on at the beginning of the run that um, my pace was a little bit slower. Surprisingly though, when we finished this one, I think I remember looking back and our pace was like 5.34, somewhere around there so that just goes back to the fact that it's so important to like well for certain people me in particular to have like a pacemaker somebody that can keep pushing you or something that you're looking at to keep pushing you so that you don't fall behind sometimes we just fight, like fall into a place of comfortability when we don't really need to and we can go harder um i particularly enjoy this route it's um scenic somewhat having the canal beside you and the different boats um it's also a nice quiet route sometimes the monotony of going in just one straight line can kind of get to me i do like to have like twists and turns in a little bit but um other than that it's a really nice route it's not too busy funnily we saw i think like two people that we have other um 
like exercise routes with during this run so that's always cool when you have like those encounters on the run um so yeah so this is where we've pretty much come to the end of the 5k here uh this is is it both flyover going towards stratford and then we would have just headed back down to Millfields but um yeah this route it's lovely really nice doing it especially really really early morning because you kind of see the sun rise as you're heading back which is nice um what else would I say in regards to running just just start do it it's really fun it's so therapeutic it can kind of just is a time to zone out and not really think about anything at all um so yeah um that's my 5k also footwear makes a huge difference which i didn't even realize until running with a different group but it makes a huge huge difference but it all comes with time like the more you've been running i think you you learn these things and like different styles of running um and things like that I'm definitely going to be sticking at it. I do feel that I've even now got to a place of like comfortability where I'm not really pushing myself that much. Or before when I was like, I'm not going to say new to running, but when I was newer, because I'm still fairly new, but when I was newer to running, um, I really enjoyed setting self challenges and like seeing, oh, let me see if I can do a 10K. Let me see if I can do more, like how far can I run? Whereas now I'm just a bit like, oh, okay, let me do a five because I know that I should rather than um, wanting to have those self challenges. But we stick at it, we keep going and we will get better as a um, collective running group with Lawn Fitness.